adds about a month and a half to opening day at Emerald Downs, and the track is busy in the mornings with horses and humans getting ready. The Jim Penny Barn sent out a couple of their maidens Tuesday a.m. That's La Quinta Por Favor, the chestnut on the right. He's a four-year-old by Victory Gallup, and he ran in the money four of six last year. The other, his partner, is a three-year-old non-starter by Matricule, and his name is Slashed. Little Red Eagle was tough in three-year-old claiming races last summer, winning three of four. Big one and a big one, and Little Red Eagle does oblige quite successfully by three lengths to Mutak Go. The Blaine Wright trainee by Flying with Eagles is prepping for his first start as a four-year-old. The big robust gray here is would-be fabulous, a two-time winner last season at Emerald Downs. He's in the barn of Rigoberto Velasquez. Courageous Son won twice as a juvenile in 2007 and was stakes placed on two other occasions. The Jim Penny trainee worked three-eighths of a mile under Galen Mitchell in 37 and two-fifths over a sloppy track. Thoroughbred racing is a sport bounding with optimism here at Emerald Downs and all over the world. Locally, there are hundreds of two-year-olds coming to the track for the first time and hopes are high that each one is a winner in the making. There's also cause for optimism with returning stake stars, and why not? This figures to be an exciting season for Northwest Racing fans with a very strong list of accomplished runners filling the stakes races at Emerald Downs. Heading that list is Wasserman, one of the most popular horses in track history, who seems to be getting better with age. Look for more on Wasserman this year in the preseason pass. Remember the great face? Of course you do. He's the 2007 mile champion whose season that summer closely paralleled Wasserman's 2008 campaign. There's many similarities other than being mile winners. They're both Washington breds, both sons of Cahill Road, and each is a seven-year-old this year. To cap it off, each was named Washington bred Horse of the Year following the mile winning season. And though they win with different running styles, their winning distances start at five and a half furlongs and go past a mile. The Great Faces off-season home is Carnation Racing Stable, and trainer Tom Wenzels made frequent trips there to check on the status of his most accomplished runner. Great Face uh, was in the barn training decently, working well, and at a half mile workout, he had an ankle chip that came out of his right ankle that we had to do surgery on, and so he's been laid up since then. A lot of times the veterinarians, they'll recommend at least 90 days, sometimes 120 days, so three, four months. Um, my own feeling after doing multiple surgeries through the years on horses, I like to give a horse, I call either time and a half or double time what they recommend, and it just seems like it's worked out way better in the long run. What about Wasserman and renewing that rivalry this year? I watched him run against this horse uh, the year before quite a bit, and he's a, just an exceptional horse and had a great year, won a lot of close photos and was very exciting, and I think the, the fanfare that surrounded him last year kind of felt what I went through the year before. Lance Williams, stable manager for Ron Crockett, is happy to see the great face so well along the road back. Uh, he looks fantastic. I think we're following all the protocols on, on recovery from surgery that Tom told you about and uh, uh, I, there's really no reason not to expect him to be back this summer. My impression of Great Face, uh, power, you know, pure speed and he's taken us on as good a ride as we've ever had with a horse. Mike and Amy Fuhrborn's Gallon is a legitimate rival for older horse honors in 2009. The Jim Penny train star has been an emerald champ at ages two and three. Bloodstock agent Dana Halverson's persistency landed Gallon with the Fearborns. And he says, I got a horse that didn't meet reserve and I think you need to buy it. So another day went by and he called me again and he says he was scrambling to try to find a buyer because he had gone to the consigner and negotiated a sales price below the reserve and he was trying to find somebody to buy the horse because it was, it's one of those things where the horse didn't sell and the, the, the breeder still wanted to sell the horse. And I said no the second day. It's like five days after the sale was over, he calls me again and says, Mike, I had a guy lined up to buy the horse. He says, I don't have the money. 
And he says, I'm in, a, I'm in a bind. I said, this is a great looking horse. And I said, you know, third time's a charm. It must have been meant to be. And I said, at least we'll have a good story to tell someday. When he runs, uh, it, it's obviously a big day. We've had some very exciting days uh, with Gallon. When he was a two-year-old, he won the uh, lads. And we were mic'd up that day, as you remember. And it was a come from behind thrilling stretch finish at the wire. Gallon, along with Wasserman, figure to make for some exciting 2009 stretch runs. The 2009 Older Handicap Division is shaping up as one of the best in track history. Wasserman's the current king, and a couple of his potential foes were out on a beautiful Monday morning for some leg stretching. The great face is on the road back, Feeling good and getting close to his first timed workout for trainer Tom Wenzel. His last trip to the post was this memorable run in August of 2007. Uh, with a great face fighting back, stride to stride, the great face, the great face has won it to raise the bluff. The great face seems eager for his return to competition. Here's Starbird Road from the barn of Larry and Sharon Ross. He's another returning star, and Starman beat top fields in the Seattle handicaps of 2006 and 7, and he's already had a couple of best-of-the-day morning drills toward reclaiming his title as top local sprinter. Opening day is Friday, April 17th at Emerald Downs.